Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be this hat. Oh my god. I don't have that many favorites this month, but I did want to make sure that I did one for November. I just feel like this month went by so fast that I don't even have time to gather new things. And I haven't been buying a lot of new stuff lately because I've been like, I've been on shopping probation basically. So I couldn't buy anything from November 1st until November 30th. I did a little bit of Black Friday shopping. I bought one thing. So most of this stuff is either sent to me or it was old stuff um, that I just recently started loving again. I don't have anything like cool and extravagant to talk about this month, which really makes me sad. I really wish I had some more stuff that I wanted to talk about. And I feel like there are some things that I wanted to talk about that I'm gonna forget. And if I forget it, I'm gonna be upset. I have all of my stuff here that I wanna talk about and I'm ready to party. Okay, my first favorite for the month would definitely be these lashes because um, I know I talked about last month, I talked about the House of Lashes Siren Lash, just kidding, the Bambi Lash is my favorite. So these are the Bambi Lashes. I wore these, every time I wear makeup, I wear these lashes. And that's the end of that story. Rosebud South, and I've had this forever. I've talked about this before previously in another favorites video. Actually, I think that I already talked about it this year um, because it keeps your lips so hydrated and moisturized. This NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I've talked about this before in another video, but I just wanna mention it again, cause it is bae. I did not like this during the summer months, I think. I just feel like for hot weather, this was not the business. I really loved my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation, whatever it's called. It's summer, so my skin is a lot more oily. You know how humidity does. This was not my favorite. It just didn't settle well with me during those months, unless I mixed it with one of those mattifying foundations. Well, it is now wintertime. Well, it's not wintertime officially, but it's wintertime in Chicago. But what I do love about this foundation is that it's so smooth and pretty. I don't have to layer this with anything else. It covers well. It goes on beautifully in the wintertime. For some reason, this just looks so good on me. And I remember when I bought this, it was wintertime and it just did it for me. It was like, yes. And I feel like that again. So I decided to mention it in this video because it is a new favorite of mine. If you are having a hard time with this foundation, it may either be your climate or the way it's reacting to your skin because of your climate. And that's that's okay. Like some foundations don't work for me at certain times of the year. So I definitely love this one now that it is winter time. Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. And I really love this concealer because it is flawless it's very very creamy um it goes on you can see i'm running out of it it goes on very very thick so you don't need a whole bunch of it if you guys watched my husband does my makeup tag which if you haven't seen it my husband slayed my face this concealer he used way too much of it and that was why i was like looking like oh my god what are you doing please stop yeah you don't need a lot of this at all and it is full coverage it doesn't crease it lasts a long time only thing i don't like about it it will move if you don't set it right. You have to set it well. And I'm still trying to figure out which which way I like to set it the best. Cause I feel like just setting this with a loose powder was not good enough for me. I feel like I had to do a little bit more to keep this from moving as much. I feel like if you use the product right, it will work right. If you use the product wrong, I don't know. Am I giving you guys Janet Jackson vibes? I think I am Janet Jackson today. Benefit Watts Up. This is my first time ever trying Benefit Watts Up. Um, this was sent to me, but I do really, really love it. Um, I like that it's a cream stick highlighter. I really love the consistency of this. I think it's really great for people with oily skin. If you were looking for a good highlighter that wasn't a powder form, this is a good cream one because it's not like too creamy to, to where it'll make you look shiny. It gives you just the right amount of glow. And in the last couple of videos I've been wearing this and my glow has been on another level of glow. Like I've been like glowing like a full moon, like a waxing gibbous. Siri, what phase is the moon in? The moon is in its waning gibbous phase. It always says a gibbous phase. A powder highlighter on top of this is golden. It's just beautiful. It's beautiful. So I suggest that you try this out because I really, really like it. This is ColourPop DGAF. This is a beautiful eyeshadow. Oh my God, the glitters in this. Uh, can you see it? I have it on today. The glitters in this are real. I love all of ColourPop's shimmery shadows. This one is my favorite thus far. I just really love it. And I use this in my last tutorial. So if you guys have seen my last tutorial, my rose gold tutorial, 
please go check it out because I love all things rose gold if you cannot tell. And I did change my logo to be rose gold now because I like it rose gold. But yeah, really, really loving this this ColourPop eyeshadow. All the ColourPop eyeshadows are cool. I actually have a ColourPop swatch video that I'm working on right now. So you guys will be able to check that out and see all of the swatches of every eyeshadow that I own by them. Um, and a couple new lip colors, including the It's My Ray Ray lip colors, which I have on right now. This is the lip liner and the lipstick um, razor. So be sure to check that out because... Ray is awesome. I'm so excited for her just because I've been watching her forever. I've been watching her since her channel first started. Like, I only have two skincare favorites. This is the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. Before you yell at me for spending this much money on a face mask, I believe in spoiling my skin. I believe in pampering my skin. The only thing that I will ever spend that much money on is shoes and skincare. I actually got samples of this. Like every month I would go get a little sample of this from Sephora and the samples are free. You can just ask for a sample. I would go and get a sample every month. And I did that for about a year before actually purchasing this. It's worth the investment because I've been trying it. Try before you buy, okay? Um, it looks like this, it's like a gray color. If you ever have spot, like acne spots that just won't go away, that are stubborn, this will pull all the impurities out of that. Like I had huge bumps right here and right here, if you can tell. They've gone down, they're like smoother now, but they were huge like yesterday. And I put this on there and it's shrunk them. This is Kiehl's Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Solution. And I have a friend who works for Kiehl's, so she sends me stuff all the time. And she was, I asked her about any dark spot correctors. She sent me this one. So I'm trying it out and I will let you guys know how I like it a couple months from now. But I've been using this for a couple weeks. I think two weeks maybe. And I like it so far. I really do see it kind of making a difference. It's kind of speeding up the healing process of the acne scars that I've gotten recently. Older acne scarring is taking a little bit longer because it's more stubborn and there's layers of skin that have grown over it. So it's kind of hard to penetrate. But... The newer ones though, there's like no scarring. The best thing to do is to catch your scars early and then hopefully they will start to fade faster. Um, but the older ones are gonna take some time. So I'll let you guys know how this works on my older scars as well. But so far I'm really liking it. This is Poopery. And if you guys saw my snap, if you follow me on Snapchat, I was talking about Poopery. And some of you noticed that as soon as I started talking about Poopery, all these commercials popped up for it like, People were like, did you see that ad for Poopery right before your video? And I'm like, oh my God, that's so weird because I've never talked about Poopery before on my channel. Poopery is a spray that you use. Well, let me just read the, the. Spritz the bowl before you go and no one else will ever know. If you poop or pee and you don't want the smell to, um, you know, engage those around you. You would spray this in the toilet bowl before you go. And I promise you, nobody will ever know that you even use the bathroom in there unless you just leave a hot mess in the toilet, which is kind of gross. My mom had some in her bathroom, okay? And I had to go, all right? And I wasn't really trying to blow up the bathroom because Cameron was gonna go in there right after me. Poop is poop, everybody poops, okay? So it's not like I can just be like, oh, my poop doesn't smell like anything. It smells like flowers and, and sunshine. No, it doesn't, okay? It's poop. Your poop's gonna stink, okay? I was thinking, okay, I'll just spray this in the toilet and see if it works. I mean, it's probably not gonna work, but whatever. I sprayed it. And I'm like, okay, this smells good. This smells like air freshener, I'm, I'm digging it. As soon as I started using the bathroom, it was magic. The smell of the spray got stronger. And I was like, is that me? I was so excited, okay. So I went on Amazon and I found this and I purchased it with a quickness. Anytime I go to the bathroom now, it smells good. If you want to fool people and make guys think that you don't poop, or you just want to be courteous when you go to the bathroom in public or something and you don't want it to smell, there you go. Keep one in your purse. Nobody will ever know that you let it go. I keep one in every bathroom. <laughs> this one is, is extra mint, and I believe it has spearmint and citrus in it. I want to try the different smells because there's a lot of different smells available on Amazon, so I'll put I'll put a link in the description box to where you can find this and yeah, it'll change your life. I don't have an app for the month, but I will say that you guys should follow me on Periscope. I wanna do a Snapchat Q&A, but other than the Q&As guys, I do do Periscopes once a week. I try to do one once a week or at least every other week. And um, if you guys wanna just sit and have story time and listen to me talk in weird accents and just be random, follow me on Periscope. I think that is all for this video. I think that's all for my favorites. 
Uh, hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you learned something cool, give me a thumbs up. This is my last favorites video of the year. Well, it's not my last favorites video, but it's my last monthly favorites. I've been really, really happy to share this stuff with you guys, and I hope that next year is full of more exciting stuff. Um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. But other than that, I will talk to you guys in my next video, okay? Bye!